Thank you. A New Britain man who severely injured a Farmington police officer back in 2021 was sentenced today to 15 years in prison. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts joins us live in Hartford with more on what unfolded in the courtroom. Amanda. Well, Kevin, Pedro Acevedo apologized to that police officer who was in the courtroom for the sentencing today. That police officer's wife saying she hopes this case sets a precedent. I want to apologize to him because it never was my intention to run him over. Pedro Acevedo showing remorse during his sentencing today for hitting and severely injuring police officer James O'Donnell back in 2021 that got him 15 years. He was responding to a call of individuals stealing catalytic converters. This defendant drove his car directly at the door that Officer O'Donnell was getting out of, pinning Officer O'Donnell between the door and the car. O'Donnell, a Farmington police officer at the time, was hospitalized for a month and had to undergo rehab for a year. His spine was severed, so they had to take a lot of hardware, put it back together. He was in, in a wheelchair for over two months. Acevedo, who left the scene and was eventually arrested for the crime, pled guilty in June to first degree assault, assault on an officer and evading responsibility. But in court, his attorney said they don't agree with the 15 year sentence. I have always felt that 15 years was a number that was too high for Mr. Acevedo to accept. It is uh, actually a sentence that I think uh, the crime. As for O'Donnell, he started a new chapter working for Rocky Hill Police. His wife hopes this sentence will send a message. We thought that it was a pretty important deal to make sure that these defendants know that there is a cause and effect. If you hit a police officer in the state, there are going to be consequences more than just a slap on the wrist. Now, the state's attorney today said Acevedo has seven open cases against him for crimes he committed since this incident back in 2021. Live in Hartford, Amanda Pitts, NBC Connecticut News. Kevin Amber.